Hey, this scene probably looks a little bit familiar to you. This was our scene on the polyomavirus, represented by the police through the home. Police through the home for polyomavirus. And then in that video, we spoke about the characteristics of the virus. We spoke about that as a double-stranded DNA that's circular, but we're not going to get into that over here. Here we're going to focus on progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, represented by the paper male over here. We have this paper male over here in the brain, and the reason why it's in the brain, it is because it's a disorder that affects the brain, which we'll explain. So here's Jack over here. We're not going to talk about BK, his friend. We're going to talk about Jack, JC. JC, or reactivation of latent JC, the JC virus infection, is the cause of progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. More specifically, there's a demyelination of the central nerve of the system. So to help us remember the demyelination, we have this nerve over here being demyelinated as he runs away from the police. And this demyelination is caused by the infection and destruction of the oligodendrocytes. He's jumping over a first aid kit. The first aid kit shows up in our AIDS videos when we want to reference AIDS because progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy is seen in 2 to 4% of patients with AIDS. But anyway, this disease shows up in usually in patients that are immunocompromised. Now let's take a look at his brain over here. Check out those explosions. Those explosions are going to remind us of two things. First of all, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy is a rapidly progressive, usually fatal disease. And the second thing we want to point out is that if you'll notice, the explosions took place in the parietal and occipital areas. And this is because progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy predominantly involves the parietal and occipital areas. And that's why, since it affects the occipital lobe, visual symptoms are common. And finally, we have this nature map coming down, you know, like nature and the map coming down and smashing the home. Nature map for natalizumab. Progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy is observed in patients treated with natalizumab, a drug that's used in Crohn's disease and multiple sclerosis. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Take care.